Hey everybody, it's Danny here, and today I'm going to be talking about trace heaters. This one right now, in, in this video, is a 120 volt one, 0.3 amps, and what I want to talk about is its purpose, where you guys would should see it, and how you should install it. So let's talk, let's talk about the purpose of these trace heaters. These trace heaters are usually found on drain lines inside walk-in freezers. Now, I've seen some shady walk-in freezers and without these heaters and all technicians would do is they just put insulation on it. That's a HVAC hack. Don't ever, ever do that. If you guys see that, just go to Home Depot or any kind of uh, refrigerator supply store that may have these get one and just install it yourself because this is the proper way you should install your drain lines your or your trace heaters on your drain lines so your drain lines do not freeze up like I said the main purpose of these is these uh, trace heaters is so your drain lines in your walk-in freezers because the temperature is below zero doesn't the water inside doesn't freeze up so you got the purpose now you know that you guys know where you guys should see this and now I'm going to talk about briefly how to install it now what you want to do is I have a copper pipe here this is gonna uh, for the, uh, all intents and purposes this is gonna be my makeshift drain line and I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So first thing you want to do, get the black end, the tip of it, not this end obviously, but this end. This is the heater part. The black part, just remember, is the heater. The rest over here is all the electrical components. So how you want to install it is start from the tip of the drain. So th this tip is usually gets connected to the bottom of your evaporator coil. So start from the top and you go like this, you turn it around, keep on turning and turning, try to cover as much of the pipe as possible, however it is important that you do absolutely not overlap the heater on itself. So you want it to look like this and you just continue all the way to the end of the until you run out of the heater uh, the heat tape so yeah just like this try to cover as much as surface area of the pipe without overlapping the black part the, uh, without overlapping the heater and you should be good to go once again, this is Danny. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about refrigeration, feel free to leave a comment in the section below as I do reply to all your comments and I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, just give me some feedback. 